and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Ramp. We have a donation deck to try out, uh, one of the best decks in the format here. And so that's, that's what we're going to be doing. So this deck is all about ramping. We got 12 mana creatures trying to get as much mana as possible, as early as possible. And then to take advantage of having all that mana, we have our uh, very, very strong Planeswalkers in the mid game, the two Teferis and Nyssa. And of course, Nyssa just expands their ramp even more. Um, we also have Shalai to protect our Planeswalkers and Frilled Mystic counter spells. So that's like our, our mid game that we're getting to. And then we have our top end that just go way over the top. We have Hydroid Crisis, draws tons of cards, gains a bunch of life. We have Mass Manipulation, steal all of our opponent's stuff. And we have Finale of Glory. This is going to be my first time playing a deck with Finale of Glory, to be honest. But um, I think the, deck, the card's pretty strong. Because like, if you, even if you think about it at like four mana, you make two two twos. It's kind of like History of Benalia, you know. But like, you know, you start going more. Like six mana, you make four two twos. And so on eight mana, you get to make six two twos. And if you ever get to have 12 mana and do that X is 10 or more... And, you know, for 12 mana, you get 10 2-2s two and 10 4-4s four in the air. Pretty incredible. So I'm, I'm excited to try this Finale of Glory here. Um, sideboard, we've got, like, some Knight of Autumns, which Knight of Autumn seems is, like, pretty sweet with the fairy. You know, you get to use it, bounce it again, use it again. Um, got Tamiyo over here on the sideboard that uh, against the removal-heavy decks, so, like, the decks, like, where we're going to be playing a longer match. Tamiyo can like bring back anything from the graveyard. Just give us some good card advantage there. Um, time wipe, I guess, is for like other creature decks. I'm not sure if I really love the the time wipe, honestly. Sort of like other other creature decks. And we're going negate over Dovin's veto because I guess negate's just easier to cast. And with not very many people playing counter magic, I guess the uncounterable clause for Dovin's veto may not matter so much. Yeah, so that's our deck. You've cast a finale for 10 on turn 5. Wow. That is gross. All right, let's give it a try. So donation decks, I always just head on over to the traditional constructed queue, even though this one is quite strong still. Let's change our avatar. Let's go Tristani. Oh. Cooperation will the yeah, Tristani's good. So I always do with the donation decks. Yeah, temples do slow down standard, so which is good for control decks. Um, that's the one kind of bad part about temples right now is that you know blue control is is really good, and it's you know you know Esper being the most played deck. Esper is the kind of deck that. Um, gains value from everybody playing temples and playing tap lands. That's a good thing for Esper. Alright, we're gonna need a little bit more land here. Mono blue. Oh yeah, this this list uh like you can play like yeah, whenever when Big Teferi's gone, you don't you you really don't need the Big Teferi in this deck. Uh you can play uh Tamiyo instead of Teferi, which works well also. Yeah, Temples will see play before rotation, definitely. All right, going to go with Incubation Druid so that next turn I can just activate Incubation Druid. Like, pass with Frilled Mystic up. Or if not Frilled Mystic, then activate Incubation Druid and just have a whole lot of mana. Because, like, they're just going to have, like, their counter spell up, right? So, like, if I just slam Nissa, it gets countered. <laughs> Dazed and Amused. 
joining in on this hype boat. Thank you so much for that support there, Dazed and Amused. All right, I'll just get rid of the trickster. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, sorry, uh, Daisy Mews. I, I didn't. I missed your first question. Do you think the four mana Jace will be usable after Teferi rotates? It all depends on. Um, on how castable it turns out being. Well, Teferi Time Raveler is just like the perfect draw. Because I, I have the two mana to pay for Spell Pierce here. I'm no, I can't play Instance. That's when it deals to damage to a player, right? Yeah. So I can either bounce the Tempest Gin and then Herald attacks Teferi. Or I bounce Herald and then Tempest Gin attacks Teferi. Then the Curious Obsession is gone. I don't get to attack this turn. I'm gonna go this route. I like the Jace though. The, the deck that I'm playing up next, Sultai Control, I have a Jace in that deck. Huh. Trust me, I have a plan. We will not fail. My elemental friend. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll try turn one land we're off turn two seven six dino. Yeah, we'll be you trying that. Let me know if you're up for round two. Yay, another blue land. Wait. that have three four five six still play for a spell spell peers So we still have a spell pierce covered. All right, that's fine. So if they attack us, we're basically dead. Got to hope they don't. Attack Nessa. The land shall conquer you. I 
I had to just hope that they blocked with the Storm Tamer so that I could tuck the gin. They didn't. All right, I guess we could Sorry, maybe draw Krasis. Nope. Ah, yeah, that's in capture anyway. If we would have drawn a Krasis. All right, going to game two. We'll get these baffling ends in, some negates. Lyra's. I don't want manipulation at all. Do I want binding? Try to take out like Tempest Gen for good. Do I want Knight of Autumn to blow up Curious Obsessions? Probably. I'd rather have Knight of Autumn than Brontodon. Knight of Autumn can still just be a 4 3. 4 3s match up well against. Um, Tempest Gen. Hmm. I guess Frilled Mystic isn't really so good here. Yeah, let's just take out Frilled Mystic. Hey, Stasis. Thanks for that support as well. One binding. That is our 10th sub of the day. We're going to go ahead and mark that down for our next sub battle stream. Getting closer to that. Head on over to the info panel there. Hopefully we draw blue mana. More boats. Whoa. They have two cards over there? Are they playing poker? Where'd their cards go? I can no longer stand by and walk. Here we go. That's more like it. I think I can win this game without showing my opponent Lyra Dawnbringer. Let's try this. I'm going to win this with a couple of three fives here. Maybe I'm just being too cocky. <clears throat> I'll show him Night of Autumn. Might be a bad idea. I 
will protect the virtue of this world. Harness the elements. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Warkite Marauder. That card's cool. Okay. You just played this exact deck against Mono Blue? Oh, you just played the, this. Oh, you just played Mono Blue. Okay. Gotcha. It is sneaky. No two Nessa, two binding. How does Leyline of the Void benefit Grixis Discard? Um, it would stop people from Command the Dread hoarding you as much. It would help against Arclight Phoenix, which is a problematic one for sure. It's It's definitely a sideboard card. It's not a main deck card. Good. Glad it wasn't spell pierced. You know, I was considering like trying to wait. You know, by playing the incubation druid, I was gonna like trying to be wait to not have my things get spell pierced. Out of Pierce. Dang it. I can't cast Lyra, of course. I need I need another white source. Ugh. Okay, okay. Of course, Shalai, not so great against Marauder, but uh, Shalai will protect Dawnbringer well, against Marauder for the next the next turn. No, I am not making this up as I go. Well, if I could only resolve one, I, I want to make sure we resolve Dawnbringer. Because the Teferi's going to die here. Oh, whoa. They just didn't attack? Whoa. They really need to attack there. Don't worry. I got this. Well, you can... You still can only target Shalai right now, even though the Shalai will lose the ability. You have to put both both of these on the stack. They really needed to do that last time. <laughs> Shalai's still a one-two. I won't let you win. No, that's game. I've got time.
Yeah, you think they misclicked? They just accidentally clicked like the the little button, the pass turn button instead of like attacking. Yeah, I can see that happening. So we're one to know. Moving on to our next match here. Not a good enough hand that first one was. Let's strip it. All right, we do need white mana, so we'll keep it. It's another blue source towards manipulation as well. Yeah, Arcbow's on the way to YouTube. Maybe about 25 minutes or so. The Goblin. Gobos. Ow. Uh. Really don't want to craze this for two. It's not ideal. You know, obviously having Krasis after Nyssa is a lot better Krasis. But where we're at, I think I'd, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Hmm. Okay. Still took my opponent's turn doing that. Hopefully they can't kill Nyssa now. Yeah, the Krasis did, Krasis did help protect Nyssa. I guess I should have just, just played Island and then activate on Sun Petal Grove still. A six mana time wipe that was like planar cleansing but lets you pick up any permanent. I could see that being played. All right, I think this is Colossus here, so I'm going to block the Llanowar off. You know, I think they have another Collision Colossus. Oh, they have two of them. That's great. All right, uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rise, my elemental friend. So we're going to go down to two here. Uh. Bleh. I'm certainly glad we played the <clears throat> crisis when we did. I don't know. 
Bronte do some blocking. I don't feel like I want Shalai. Like I, I don't like all these collision colossuses. I don't really want these flyers. Pearl Mystic doesn't have the best body. Teferi. Teferi doesn't seem so great either. Manipulation really slow. We can certainly have like rekindling phoenixes. Let's play binding. Not sure if I want time wipe. Honestly. No, I just play standard on, on stream. I don't draft. Um Let's go with this. Let's go like this. We'll take out manipulation and have for, and keep frilled mystic on the play here. We'll see if on the draw if we want to keep frilled mystic if we win game two. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Happy Wednesday. Down, down, down. Go with the Druid so that next turn I can go like Bathlian plus Lanor Elf. Kind of ignore their elves, I suppose. No, I haven't. This is the first time that we've drawn Finale of Glory. I mean, this is just game number. I guess this is game number three. But this is the first time I've drawn Finale of Glory, so I, I haven't cast it yet. All right, Incubation Druid turn. Do I let them Colossus away my Druid? Probably not. Bleh. Yay, I got to cast Finale. Those are some pretty mean looking soldiers there. Am I supposed to baffling end the war boss? Doesn't seem too necessary. No go, miss. Ooh, that's a really good card to Ixlon's binding.
I guess I could just also baffling end this one that's left, though, since they played it out. Hmm. Do I just let him have more growth chamber guardians? So I guess I'm just, you know, I'm just never going to cast Time Wipe, I suppose. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I mean, I should do the, the Glacial Fortress, not the, not the actual island plane. Manissa. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Poor Nissa. Okay. Going to game number three. All right, so they are pretty aggressive. We get rid of Teferi and World Mystic like, and Binding. And let's go Angel Route. I guess they do have Colossus, but still. Our creatures can die to removal, but they still kind of take over. And of course, just playing Knight of Autumn is just a three mana four three. You know, can match up against Spellbreakers, bigger than War Boss, all that kind of stuff. All right, get rid of creatures. Baffling end is awesome. They were reliant on those first two creatures. Must have must have flooded out there. Um, 
the ley lines will probably see just a little bit of cyborg play, but honestly, they they won't see very much play. I think right now the the uh, green and the red one don't look too good. I don't even re really remember what the red one does. But the white and the black one, I expect to see a little bit of cyborg play, but not a ton. I don't, I never, like, I haven't read what the actual green one does. Somebody was just saying it makes mana creatures tap for another green or something. I don't know what the blue one does. The blue one, that one must have been new. I, I haven't seen that one at all. So why did I shock in there for the land world when I have no turn at three? Because, uh, you know, we have the draw step before our, our next turn when I had no three mana spell. As you saw there, we drew the Paradise Druid. If we wouldn't have um, shocked in, we would not have been able to play the Paradise Druid the next turn. Where's our lands? So we know they'll be able to Reckless Rage again next turn. Okay, there's a land. Do I want to make a 3-3 three, three crisis or do I want to make three two twos? I think I want to make three two twos. Really like one more land, please. Would really like another land. They can sacrifice their Arcanist to kill my land or and my Paradise Druid. Green Leyline is like a free Nissa. I guess I don't know what this Green Leyline does. I thought, like, does it double your mana from your lands? Let me read this thing. Whenever you tap a creature for mana, add an additional green. Yeah, so just your mana creatures. Add an additional green mana. That's not worth a card. And then eight mana, put a one counter on each of your creatures. That's not, that's not going to be played. Why are they not killing my mana creatures here? I don't know why they're not killing man creatures, but I'm glad. All right, come on, deck, draw land. Yay. We're really glad they never killed mana creatures. Hey, Kill Switch. Evening's been going really good today.
you know, we have my Gruel Arcbow and Awesome over there in Mythic. We're up to like 51 for our rank in there. Hey, Eddie, thanks for that sub there. Welcome to the channel there, Eddie. Yes, if I if I cast mass manipulation, if I have like um if I have like eight mana and I manipulate the feather again and the legionnaire, I would get my manipulation back. Or you know, just target one of my own creatures in theirs. Yeah, so I could keep I could keep on rebuying manipulation with feather. Well, we have to make sure we don't die, which can be tough. So I'm I'm gonna be blocking here with the two two. Ugh. Never mind. That's. I am here to aid in the assault. Well, that's lethal. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, yes, it is. So they they sprint the arcanist. Share. My light. They sprint Arcanist and then have Arcanist uh, kill the 2 2. And they put another counter there. They can do 8. So they can put me down to 1. But it looks like they're just going to combat and not doing that. And we need a feather manipulation, a mass manipulation feather deck. Okay, there they're now they're doing it. Yeah, arena's running better. Haven't had any problems since we started this league. This one reckless rage killed like four creatures. It was pretty good. Gideon is really good against Esper. I really like Gideon against Esper. There's a lot of Esper running around. Um, another matchup for Baffling End. Grab that in here. Finding good two. And yeah, I guess this is a time wipe matchup. Kind of like negates. Kind of like negates. I like Baby Teferi. You know, either resetting that thing that gains counters or slowing down Arcanist. I like Baby Teferi here. I think... Frilled Mystic is kind of slow, and maybe I don't actually use Negate. Nissa, like, you know, this Teferi Tux, which is good. I'm not sure if Nissa is going to be so great for us. Like, they seem to go through the 3-3s three in not so difficult fashion. If we get rid of that, get rid of Negate... I guess this thing does die to Reckless Rage really, really well. Trim one of those.
All right, we got a little bit more lands here. Yeah, this is a really good metagame for haste. Does this Teferi stop, like, Arcanus from casting something? Yeah, I guess, I guess it would, right? Yeah, it would. That's more like it. If you show remorse, reverse! We get to actually untap with Hero Dominaria. Wow. Now what? It's like not even though. No time for a break. Like this one gets to draw us a card. Hmm. So I think I want the other. Like I think I want the Krasis. To be bigger than 4-4 four, because four, of Reckless Rage. Um, so I'm going to go with the make four creatures first. But yeah, no, make, so yeah, that makes sense why they killed the little Teferi because then they want to, the Argonist to recast the Shock to be able to kill the big Teferi. Because with the little Teferi they wouldn't be able to. Just passing. Let us draw. You know what? I think you have I'm to attack the Arcanist at the Teferi and take that out. All right. Get more mana, bigger crisis. This game's, I mean. So we know our opponent has five spells in hand. Including that feather that we just knew they drew. So, th you know, they're not playing lands. They got a bunch of spells. They could do something kind of crazy. Let's skip to the good part. 
that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's do. Uh, let's do for ten. Keep this paradise druid untapped. Why do I need to keep a paradise druid untapped? Might as well go for eleven, like all eleven mana. We'll have a 9-9 nine, nine. instead of an 8-8. Eight, eight. We we tucked the no uh earlier I tucked the feather with Teferi. That's why we knew that they had a Teferi earlier. So do they have Solar Blaze? Is that a card they have? They really needed to have this Arcanist kill the Teferi a couple of turns ago. It's a little late for that. No. Yeah, I don't really know how my opponent stops mass manipulation. TBH. Instead of manipulating everything, like I don't know how they stop it, but I'm gonna just play this I know to fairy first. Just in case. I can't play instance. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Yep. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, I could have mass manipulated as an instant. I don't, I don't know if we need to do that. That's true, but yeah, we could have done that as an instant. I suppose. Um... I used, I had a uh, BCW deck box, is what I used. It's like their, I think they called them a locker. It was pretty nice. No, I'm going to be streaming Kill Switch. So no, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be watching the Mythic Championship. I'm gonna be just streaming. Like normal. You know, it's my this is my everyday job. No, that's not the most ideal target for baffling in where feather would be, but it's not guaranteed that my opponent does have a feather. They do play feather next turn. I'd be able to bounce it with Teferi. Let's slow this down. Yeah, there are things about teaching that I miss. Yeah. Um. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's definitely... Yeah, teaching was... Um, was a good profession. I liked it. It's only a matter of time. But... But I like the... Uh, stay at home... Build... You know, magic decks all day and stream... For seven hours a day. I like, I like this life more. Let's get this Dawnbringer out here. So I could pay two life to keep the Paradise Druid from being able to be targeted. Which, you know, would mean that I wouldn't be able, you know, like I'd still have the four blue mana. But I feel like that, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like the Paradise Druid is probably kind of safe. That Dawnbringer is going to be the card they're going to be worried about. Um, I started teaching when I was 20... Yeah, 22. I was up in public school. Um, taught high school math, mostly all geometry. I taught geometry all, every year that I taught, but then um, I also taught at a small school where I'd have to teach like one class algebra one and uh, one cla class of a subject that we called math models, which was like a bridge between um, geometry and algebra two. Kind of, you know, teaching at a small school, you just kind of help out everywhere also. You know, like, students need different helps in, like, the different math classes and everything. But the main focus was geometry. In Texas. I can't cast this manipulation because I only got the three blue. But we can cast that to fairy. GG's. I won't hide from the world. Any hide is much more malleable than people think. This finale of glory was really good all three games. Let's get a lot of bodies out there. <laughs> yeah, then Steely Dan's My Old School now comes up. Never going back to my old school. <laughs> it's perfect timing. Yeah, I like the new dinosaur zombie. That card's sweet. Poor Reggie, though. Reggie's getting all... Uh, what's, it call what's it called? Like, r rotting? Re Reggie's rotting? Yeah, I like that card. Steam Vance. Thanks, Reptile. Alright, Paradise Druid definitely better than Incubation Druid here. Uh, from a surviving shock strike coil perspective. Sure. I'll trade there. I 
could just like sit back and wait till like seven mana. I mean, I already have six in hand. Like where I play Druid and then activate the turn into a three five immediately. But nah. Shalai does not match up very well against Crackling Drake. That three power against four toughness. Also doesn't match up that well against Lava Coil. Yeah, is it Drake's is um it's all right. It's you know it's not it's not a like a great deck, but it's it's pr pretty reasonable, and I think it's a I think it's a very good budget deck. So we need this crisis to at least be a four four. Yeah, shall I, shall I, uh, spark double is a really good combo. So I like doing that in the, in my, in the band arc by deck that I play. Good, get that coil out of here. Hello. All right, if they have another coil, I die. If they don't, maybe I can live. Yep. Yeah, spark double just all those cards. Yeah, double Lyra, double Oketra. It's so powerful. Double Tristani. Yeah, give me that. All day. Ah, oh, they found it. Where, where? Teamer Arcbow? So playing Gruul and then blue for spark double for Ilharg, I guess. I could like play negate to like protect my crisis kind of thing. That could be a thing I could do. Maybe we don't need that. Yeah, we could try a couple negates. Do that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been very good in, in game ones. Yep. Good old sideboard and yeah, best of one format. I would not be good in the best of one format.
All right, Storm, have a good night. Bleh. See, even Electromancer says bleh when it enters. All right, the Harbor is a good draw. We need to keep drawing lands. Hmm. Speaking of needing to keep drawing lands. They decided not to play one. So, yep. Yeah, I would like to be able to play Krasis for bigger than four, of course. If possible. Dang. It's not possible. Okay, okay. Um... So we'll see if they have Beacon Bolt to take care of Lyra. I have the backup. I'd like to draw another land. Maybe have like Dawnbringer with Negate backup. No, Kefnet wouldn't really go into a team or bow deck because Kefnet doesn't like you know you're not going to play instant sorceries if you're playing Arc Bow and a bunch of creatures. Show remorse. I'll show you straight. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, shutting off red finale. So we can, of course, we can manipulate the Crackling Drake. Here goes nothing. I'm just gonna bounce it. Because, you know, if they just replay Crackling Drake again, they're probably dead. <laughs> yeah, I've had double Lyra quite a bit. Spark double Lyra, it is sweet. Alright, so they, they didn't shock. Didn't shock Teferi either. And they can't play instance. We got eight in the air. Okay. And game three. Should I have Baffling End instead of Shalai? Baffling End only deals with Electromancer, but just dealing with Electromancer, is that worth it? Nah.
<laughs> so Gruul Arkbo versus like uh, Bant Ramp. Is that are you talking about Bant Ramp or my opponent's deck? There's some ugly hands. So, okay, so Arcbow against, you know, the Gruel Arcbow versus the Bant Ramp deck. Um, the Bant Ramp deck has higher upside. Like, the best hands of Bant Ramp are better than the best hands of, of Arcbow and everything. And, and uh, it can it can put out some, some really nice openers and, and everything. It's more powerful. At the top end too, but the the Gruel Arcbow Dex is just a lot more consistent. Um, you know, being two colors, not really relying on on the mana creatures as much. It's going to be more consistent and do its thing uh, more. So overall, which one would have a higher percentage of winning across like the whole meta game? I don't know. Um, I've been I've been very pleased with Ban Ramp so far. But yeah, this deck is is more powerful. Bant is talking about the colors here. Blue, white, and uh, green. Those three colors together is what makes Bant. Find some answer for this crackling Drake. I mean, obviously I can just Teferi tuck it, but then Teferi dies, and then they just redraw the crackling Drake with all their acceleration or their velocity. I suppose that's what I meant with all their velocity, all their card draw. Phoenix is good. Slow down. Not not looking good for us. That go according to plan. Need to draw Ixalan's binding. Ixalan's binding. Yeah, the Finale Glory doesn't look great. Um, like, Anissa wouldn't really look great here either. I don't... I don't think I should have kept Nissa in for Finale of Glory, but maybe maybe put in something else. Um, of course, we're on a, you know, we're on a Mold to 5 and, and everything. So, 
a card like Finale of Glory that requires lots and lots of mana is not going to look nearly as good. Yeah, my Ixalan's binding is a little broken. Yep. And that's game. Okay, three and one. Fortunately, we couldn't get a decent hand there that game three with, you know, the one lander, one lander, one lander kind of thing. But. But that's all right. All right, this is a good hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and chalk in here for Llanowar Elf on turn one, because we could draw one of our mana creature, one of our eight, I guess 11, 11 other mana creatures for turn two, and then be able to play Teferi on turn three. Or just play a tap land. An attack. So is this Esper? Usually black white means Esper. Kaya's Wrath is like something that I guess I could, you know, they could hurt. So let's go Teferi instead of Nissa, where Teferi just, you know, starts, you know, refilling our hands. And, you know, can't target Teferi, of course, because she'll lie, so don't have to worry about that. I think this is Esper. So against Esper. Suppose I want these Nagates and Tamio. And we want to cut. Just cut some mana creatures. They get swept up. I really like Shalai against Esper. I think I Shalai. Is Finale of Glory good? That's a good instant speed it with Teferi. I I still really like Frilled Mystic. Yes, they could have they could have little Teferi to shut down Frilled Mystic. But if they don't, Frilled Mystic is just awesome. No, Ixalan's binding is answered really easily by Teferi's, plus they'll have Dispark. Uh, no, I don't I don't want to binding anything. It's like, sure, I binding like one, one Teferi, and then they use the other Teferi or Dispark to get rid of the binding, and then they get their Teferi back, and that's just, then we're just like at that point, you know, we're in a huge trouble. Like, let's say we binding little Teferi, and they use big Teferi to tuck it or whatever. So no, I don't want that card. And plus, Ixalan's binding is the kind of card that just gets stuck in your hand. Um. Intel, you know, you have to wait for the Esper player to actually play something. So, like, if you if it's in your opener, it can just sit in your opener for like seven, eight turns while they're like killing all your things, and you're just like, man, I wish this card was something I could actually play. All right, much better hand over there. 
hero on turn two. It's a good turn two play. the crisis let me recast it not going to sit this one out. dang I'll protect you I really should have seen that coming Deputy of Detention. Wah, wah. That's a good one. Glacial Fortress. Harness the elements. Whoops. Undo. All right, gonna have Nissa help get some blockers out for the Teferi. Let's slow this down. Keep up the pace. Yeah, earlier, yeah, we were having connection troubles earlier with Arena. Um, but... Oh, right, Hallowed Fountain only does one. But thankfully haven't been experiencing too much of a problem here in the last little bit. Do I trade a land for three tokens? I have five tokens. No more games. All right. Well, they let Teferi take the other hit, so they don't get to tuck. You know what? Um, I'm not done. Yet. You know, hoping not for, hoping for no elder spell, of course. But no, I don't think our opponent misclicked. No, like they, they just wanted to make sure that my, yeah, they, they blocked with all five to make sure that my token died. So if I had like an instant speed trick for like one thing, they, they wanted it to die. It made sense. Only time will tell. Bleh. Alright, looks like we need a sideboard and some baffling ends. The 
land shall conquer you. So we can no time for a break. top deck of mass manipulation any time deck at any time. There's got to be like three more lands on top, right? We haven't drawn that many lands recently. There's probably three lands on top. They're probably deciding about between which land. So whatever they took, they Stop. liked it more than Finale of Glory. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I want to kill Big Teferi. You know, just one dep you know, one deputy can eat a Paradise Druid. We will meet again. All right, Big Teferi down. They chose to not eat a Paradise Druid with the deputy. I don't see us lasting too much longer, but you know now we know a lot more about their deck. You know, thinking it was us for control, we get to sideboard a whole lot better than we just had here. Hmm. That's cool. Say good game. There we go. Good game. Because they have the flyers that kill me here. Certainly get those things in. Take the gate out. And hmm. 
from the finale glory. They're just playing deputy detention. It just eats up all the tokens. I want this time wipe. No. No, not not uh not wanting binding at all, especially with deputy detentions being played. It's possible our opponent's taking out all their creatures and going into a control heavy route here. <laughs> yeah, Esper. That was that was my main complaint with War of the Spark. Even when just like looking at the previews, it's just like, wow, Esper is getting Esper is already good, and it was just getting so much more stuff. Esper kind of has everything. Alright, Baffling End's a good one. No. No, Teferi, get out of here. Get out of here. Bad to fairy. Ixalan's binding on Krasis. Bleh. Alright, deck, I need some help. I need to draw a Teferi. No, not our opponent play a Teferi. Let's I know my responsibility. Don't make another move. This is not not going good. Yeah, see, binding is really good against Krasis, because even if you get rid of the binding, um, you still get to, you know, like, the Krasis doesn't come back. So it's it's perfect against Krasis. Sorry I'm late. No, I am not making this up as I go. Nissa was an awesome draw step. Behold, nature's true power. This is hardly my worst defeat. Great draw step for us. Get those fairies out of there. My strength fades. All right, we could use the fairy now. 
Nope, not a land. And another land. Hooray. And that Ixalan's bi binding on my Krasis was such a killer. I guess I need to bring in Knight of Autumns. You know, it wasn't... You know, didn't have Knight of Autumns then. I don't know. That was a... That was a killer, Hawkeye. Yeah, I know. Alright, so that's Bant Ramp. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot we had... <laughs> that was that was Hawkeye sitting on getting all those numbers in there that time. But oh well, we'll do that. Um, I forgot we had mass manipulation in our deck. Been, been okay, not amazing. Oh, yeah, that would have been an okay one to draw. I don't know. The deck's kind of you know like it does its thing. It it ramps really well. Um, Five Mana Teferi was like our best card. That card was awesome. Loved that one. Um, but Finale Glory was okay. I'm not sure if it's really worth it too much, to be honest. Um, I wish Bant had Elder Spell and Thought Erasure. Bant doesn't have those. July wasn't really wasn't very good for us to be honest. This card wasn't wasn't very good in here. Maybe we need like Big Vivian. Big Vivian, you know, destroys enchantments, kills flyers, gets us, you know, can help dig for Krasis or Frilled Mystic. Maybe we need some Big Vivian in here, also. Like the Planeswalkers are good. The ramp, the mana creatures are good. Planeswalkers are good. I don't know if you really need Mass Manipulation or Shalai or Finale. Like maybe these should just be more Planeswalkers. And everything. You know, maybe like Shalai Manipulation Finale could be like a fourth Frilled Mystic and then like a Tamiyo and like a Vivian. And get some good Planeswalkers in there too. Oh well. All right, so that's Bank Ramp. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Bant Ramp. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another video.